The 2023 Santa Barbara International Film Festival has featured over 200 films across 43 different countries. Tonight is the closing night of the Santa Barbara International Film Festival and will premiere Canadian film, I Like Movies. What got you into the industry of filmmaking? Yeah, I would, I'd always wanted to do it, you know. I grew up loving film and uh, I'd always wanted to be a filmmaker and, you know, I did, I was a concrete truck driver and that made me miserable. And so when you've done something that made you miserable, then you realize it's time to chase your dreams. And so that's what I'm doing. You've got to chase your dreams, you know. What would you, and what would you say to young people who are trying to get into the film industry? I think just do it. I mean, f stuff is so democratized now. Like, you can shoot a movie on your iPhone. And there's no reason to, you know, not do anything. Uh, would you say you would you make your younger self proud? Man, two great ones back to back. I think it's been my passion. I think sometimes we're all acting and we don't know it. I mean, I think I've acted a lot uh, in my personal life in ways that I didn't know until now, uh, able to reflect back on that. And yeah, I think I'm, I'm proud of myself now. So I think if I was a younger version of myself still, seeing where I am, I think I'd be proud. Where do I want to end up? Happy. Just happy. That's what I want. That's where I want to end up. And I don't think my career is ever going to end. I'm always going to stay in it somehow. You know, uh, stay connected. Yeah, this is not something you let go of. This is, you know, you don't you don't retire from this. You're always passing it on to somebody else, helping somebody. You make your money. You you, you know you do what you do. But it's not something you retire. I don't think. I don't believe that. What makes a great actor? I think the, there's a couple things. One is doing your homework, um, like saturating yourself in the characters as much as possible before you get to set. Know them inside out, know them like you know yourself and treat them like a real person, not really a character. And then the second thing is when you get to set and when you show up and the camera is on you and you're on your mark, breathe and be present and just take what the moment gives you. You would have made yourself proud. Would you have made your younger self proud for where you are today? That is such a good question. I love that question. Uh, I think I would. I, um, I think when I was, especially like a teenager, um, I was so wrought with insecurities and self-doubt and uncertainty. And I, I think if I knew that all those things would help me grow so much, so that I could do what I love for a living, I'd be more okay with it. So I think I would see myself today and be like, that's pretty cool, I'm okay with that. Proud of myself, right? Yes, there you go. yes I would have, not just for the films uh, that I've gotten to work on and where I'm at in my career, but just the fact that I'm enjoying life more, actually, you know? Would you say you would, make, you would have made your younger self proud of, of where you are today? Good question. Um, I think that I would be probably surprised because I wasn't thinking about going into film. I actually like this question. I made a lot of home movies with my parents' tape, yeah, old camera when I was younger. So I think I would have definitely been happy with where we are now. This year's film festival was amazing as always, and tonight we had an amazing time. This has been Steven, Santi, and Kaiser reporting for DP News.